Okay, thanks for coming. So, yeah, I'll be talking about growing the Tasmanian dairy industry. I'll have a look at the Australian industry and where Tasmania fits in that profile and some of the strengths of the industry in Tasmania and the challenges and opportunity and the requirement for extension to help drive um, growth. The Australian dairy industry is worth about $3.9 billion, making it Australia, um, the third largest agricultural industry in Australia. It's worth $3.9 billion after processing. They produce 9.1 billion litres of milk across 7,500 farms and have around 1.6 million dairy cows. Uh, we contribute 12% of the world dairy trade and rank the third largest exporter after the EU and New Zealand. Nearly, all, nearly half of all of what's being produced is exported and that generates $2.8 billion. The Tasmanian dairy industry is currently in the expansion phase and needs a 40% growth in milk production to meet the requirements by um, the milk processors. It consists of 450 dairy pr farms producing about 720 million litres of milk, which makes it Tasmania's biggest agricultural industry. It's worth $310 million. 200 million of which has come, comes from exports. It directly employs around 2,000 people and in addition to this another 800 people who are employed through the processing sector. Average farm size is around 120, 182 hectares and we have the largest herd, average herd size in Australia of around 300 cows. We're predominantly a seasonal calving system and um, pasture production. So this just shows um, us that Tasmania here has achieved strong growth and in comparison to the other states in Australia, we're pretty unique in that we have been able to achieve such good growth. And up the top we can see that over the last 10 years there's been a 20% increase in milk production and the record um, milk production was reached last season at 722 million litres. Um, so the drivers of our strong Tasmanian dairy industry include land values, um, which gives good opportunity for future growth of the industry and ensures that dairying remains a viable um, land user. 75% of dairy farmers felt positive about the industry and thought that they wanted to expand because they enjoyed what they're doing, not because of the demand for milk. Um, we're a very low cost production system. We have good rainfall which drives um, good pr pasture production and we're actually one of the lowest cost producers in the world. We have good water security which is important because of our reliance on irrigation to boost pasture production. We're well positioned um, to respond positively to climate change and when we're compared to other dairy regions nationally and internationally were expected to be less impacted. Uh, we have a good clean green image and established supply chains in the um, growing dairy markets of China and India and the demand for competitively priced dairy produce is continually growing. Uh, investment innovation and technology is being driven by the private sector. The state has good infrastructure and cooperation and coordination between stakeholders. This is just a bit of an overview of the challenges and opportunities that are expected to be faced by the dairy industry and outlined in the Dairy Industry Strategic Plan. I'll be focusing on the outside ring, which includes animal and feed-based performance, natural resource management, animal health and welfare, human resources and skill development, business planning and financial management. Historic evidence shows that rapid expansion of the industry can be detrimental for the long-term viability. Um, this was seen in the New Zealand industry in their rapid expansion phase, which ultimately led to food safety concerns, environmental problems and a lack of um, informed decisions being made. So um, farmers believe that the um, 
shortage of employees um, is the biggest limitation on expansion in the industry and it was the most frequently mentioned issue in a recent survey um, done by TR. This is thought to be compounded by the negative public perception. Uh, things such as long hours, dirty working environment, poor pay and mundane duties. There's also competition from other uh, sectors, especially the mining industry, which is competing for the same demographic um, of workers. There's a lack of investment by farmers in human resource management and um, staff recruitment and training. Industry partners need to help to develop skills and provide training for all areas of the industry. And the way the industry is perceived in the public influences the quality and availability of labour as well as uh, influencing regulations. So promotion of the need of the industry is needed to attract people and investment. Farmers generally believe that they are good land managers and, and look after the environment and they can see the benefits in doing so. However, profitability remains the key driver behind um, decisions. So farmers would generally adopt practices with perceived production benefits rather than environmental benefits. So practices that require large capital investments or engineering are usually done with the help of government grants. NRM is not well recognised in the dairy industry and can be attributed to a lack of clear understanding of potential, be potential benefits to businesses. Continued improvement of resource efficiency and, and the promotion of the dairy industry as a highly efficient user, especially of water and land, is important uh, to reduce the effects of competition from other users and also um, access to sufficient land and water needs to be secured for future growth. Climate change is something that's perceived differently by dairy farmers, but most uh, dairy farmers in Tasmania see climate change as a natural cycle and something that's out of our hands. So Extension really needs to aim to deliver things for farmers to be able to cope with climate vari variability rather than trying to convince them of climate change. Uh, the dairy industry was deregulated in 2000, which increases the volatility of the market. We're a highly export-oriented market, as you've seen, so we're very vulnerable to national and international markets. Volatility affects the demand, the milk prices, as well as the cost of grain, fodder and fertilisers. Industry partners need to work with dairy businesses to help them to make... Um, improve business management decisions, manage volatility, uh, improve resilience and maximise efficiencies and re reduce costs, as well as um, capturing market opportunities. Whilst farmers don't see the lack of policies and procedures in their business as a limitation, they can also see the benefit by having them. Farmers are obvious... Um, are often highly skilled in feed-based topics, but additional training is required in things such as business planning, cash flow and budgeting. So all, all members of the supply chain need to be well informed to make responsible business decisions for the future growth of Tasmania. Farmers believe they're good custodians of their animals. They, they believe they look after their animals well and find it pretty hard to believe that the wider community would think anything else as they're fundamental to the success of their businesses. However, ex escalating urbanisation um, has increased the public exposure and it's found that there's been more scrutiny by the public with less agricultural knowledge. Animal welfare is held in high regards to both market and community, so the opportunities to improve profitability um, through marketing needs to be um, recognised. Public perception seems to be fuelled by animal welfare organisations such as PETA, who have a large or a loud public voice. Bobby calves are considered the biggest in issue facing the dairy industry at the moment, 
It's considered an unfortunate aspect of dairy farming, and, but something that needs to be addressed immediately. Tail docking is an example of how um, pressure from public and um, welfare groups can push or can make farmers move to alternative methods. The dairy industry needs to work at promoting a positive message in regard to animal welfare status of livestock and manage links between animal welfare, farm profitability and community support. It needs to be a collaboration between industry, community and welfare organisations to help promote the industry as a yeah, good the animals. Pasture and grazing management is one of the most important components of the Tasmanian dairy industry. Despite this, most farmers still go on gut feeling assessments and continue improvement of knowledge base of farmers in regards to animal feed based performance is needed to maximise productivity and profitability. Pasture is the cheapest source of feed and Tasmania needs to continue to be a leader in low cost, high quality production for future growth. Irrigation needs to be effectively managed to maximise productivity and despite good access to fodder there are some limitations with grain through logistics and storage facilities in the state. In general the Tasmanian dairy industry has been well informed. Farmers get a lot out of extension beyond what's being taught Things such as support networks and the confidence in managing difficult situations. However, some service providers such as NRM need to really improve their profile within the industry. Farmers are primarily concerned with how new practices will improve profit. Extension should incorporate evidence of how practices will improve profit, reduce costs or save time in order for successful adoption. Farmers value traditional forms of communication. However, the younger farmers are seeing a gap where technology could be better utilised and made more accessible. Fewer and more targeted extension programs would be better received by farmers and the sessions should be specific to the region with a delivery type style that's suited to the topic. In conclusion, the Tasmanian dairy industry has um, good potential for future growth. The challenges and opportunities that need to be addressed are outlined today and through the successful use of extension, the future growth and sustainable growth of the industry um, should be possible.